Let's talk about an extremely efficient filtration schedule for a Hayward TriStar VS900. This is the 1.85 horsepower variable speed model. And with this particular filtration schedule, what we're going after here is a situation where we're going to maximize the efficiency of the flow of water. Commonly with pool pumps, people run them at very high speeds, very high flow rates, and a lot of efficiency loss. In this, in this installation, what you're going to see here is we're going to run at three different RPMs, and those RPMs are going to be 2200, 1500, and 750. We're going to run those for five hours, 10 hours, and nine hours. And what we're going to end up with is just under 60,000 gallons of filtered water every 24 hours, and our total cost is going to be about 59 cents per day in order to accomplish this. And I'm just going to run through these numbers really quickly. You can back up the video as needed to follow along. Five hours at 2200 RPM. We're going to realize about 67 gallons per minute. We're going to be consuming about 477 watts of power during that time. The 10 hours at 1500 RPMs, we're going to be realizing about 4300 gallons per minute. Or sorry, about 43 gallons per minute, 178 watts of power. Nine hours at 750 RPM, we're going to be realizing about 22 gallons per minute, only 43 and a half watts of power during that time. That's crazy low. So 67 gallons per minute times 60 minutes times five hours is 20,100 20, gallons of water. 43 gallons per minute times 60 minutes times 10 hours is 25,800. And then 22 gallons per minute times 60 minutes times 9 hours, 11,880. Our total, 57,780 gallons of filtered water. So now, looking down at the power equation here, 477 watts times 5 hours, 2,385 watts. 178 watts times 10 hours is 1,780, and 43 and a half watts times 9 hours is 391.5 watts. Our total here uh, is 4,556.5 watts, or converted over 5 point, or 4.56 kilowatts. You pay for your power by the kilowatt hour, and the nationwide average is 13 cents per kilowatt hour, so 4.56 times 13 cents equals approximately 59 cents per day, or 17.70 per month to run the schedule. It's a, a huge amount of filtered water. It's a very low cost in order to do so, but there's more than that happening here. The maximum efficient laminar flow rate in 2-inch PVC, which you probably have 2-inch or smaller PVC through the trunk line of your filtration set, about 65 gallons per minute is the point at which laminar flow is lost and you start to experience a very drastic, a sharp increase in your losses due to friction and turbulence and things like that. And that's why we're not running this pump at any time higher than 60, 67, it was 66, 67 gallons per minute. We're, you know, pretty close to 65 there at 2200 RPM. And that's why I'm not going faster than this. Like the pump goes to 3,450 RPM. It'll pump 110 gallons per minute through my filtration set, but that's not good. It's not an advantage to me to do so. And depending on what filtration equipment you have, you might even be, you know, damaging your filter. If you have a sand filter, for example, with a relatively low maximum design flow rate. I have a cartridge filter. It's able to handle 120 gallons per minute, so no problem there. But in terms of efficient flow, we're nowhere near efficient flow up at those speeds. So with this installation, we're going to be doing 2200 RPM, 1500 RPM, and 750. And what's significant about these is even at the lowest RPM range, we're still getting 22 gallons per minute. 22 gallons is a, per minute is a lot. It's, you know, it, for some pools, you know, 750 might not realize any flow at all. Every swimming pool installation is different. This is just my installation. So that's why it's important to have a flow meter. You need to make sure you're actually moving water. You can't just set the RPM and assume that that's all happening. And I'm not assuming with mine. I can measure the flow and we can see just how much water is moving. And at 750 RPM, a scant 43 and a half watts of power, we're still moving 22 gallons per minute, which is really great. But look at our, our 10 hours and 15 hour segments. We got 43 and 67 gallons per minute. Both of those are going to be enough to operate a salt chlorine generator. 
a gas or propane pool heater, an electric heat pump. It's going to be enough for your skimmers to function well. It's going to be enough to diffuse clean, filtered, chemically treated water back into your swimming pool effectively. These are not like very low numbers that barely get by filtering the pool and your, your pool peripheral pool equipment can't even run. This schedule is a good balance between what is the most efficient way to move the water without being overkill while still having long hours of runtime at appreciable gallons per minute such that your peripheral equipment is going to be able to run without a problem. This is actually a really great filtration schedule for a lot of swimming pools. So now that we've gone over the numbers here, you understand a little bit more what you're looking at, why don't we go ahead and I'll run this pump right now on these settings and we can see the flow rates and the electrical consumption together just to verify that these are accurate numbers. Let's get started. Seven fifty. There we are with our twenty two gallons per minute. Forty three watts, point three six amps of current draw. It's so low. Fifteen hundred RPM. There we are with our forty one. I had a forty three before. There's some variation. Check back, see if it comes up in a second. Sometimes it just takes a second for it to register. 177 watts. 0.82 amps. 42, 43. Yeah, there's some, a small amount of variance in the, the flow meter there. And now 2200 RPM. Probably can't see that there, but we're... I don't know, we're about 5, close to 5 PSI. It's a funny angle for me. And there we are with our 67 gallons per minute. 474, almost 475 watts. So as you can see, these are realistic numbers, real world, world numbers that you're able to achieve with the TriStar VS900, or at least I, I'm able to, but this does give us a great starting point for an apples to apples comparison when you're shopping for a new pool pump. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.